students. Today we are going to read a book called In Our Country. This book was written by Susan Canizares and Daniel Moriton. They're our authors. They wrote the words. I can see from the front cover that these are not illustrations. These are photographs taken with a camera. I'm going to use one of my super reader strategies. Look at the cover and think, what is this book about? Hmm, they're all photographs of what places look like. I see forests and desert canyons. I see water and mountains. That looks like maybe it's even an ocean. This looks like maybe it's a smaller body of water, maybe a lake or a river. Hmm, this looks like it might be part of farmland. Maybe they're going to plant seeds. Oh, there's grain. A whole bunch of grain fields of it. Hmm, what different places really look like. <gasps> Maybe places in our own country. Let's read and find out if this book is fiction or nonfiction, what the topic is, and how many key details can I remember? In Our Country by Susan Kinazaris and Daniel Moriton. This is a map of our country. I'm also using my super reader strategy of pointing under the words. I look for sight words. You should do that too. So this is a map of our country. These children are coloring it in. Our country is very big and it has a lot of different states. They're coloring each state a different color. In some parts, there are forests. Oh, that's right. The photograph will go with the words. They want to tell me about forests, so they gave me a photograph or a picture of a forest. So in some parts, there are forests. In others, there are deserts. In some parts, there are b. I get my mouth ready for the first sound. I look at the picture for a clue. What do you think this word is? Beaches. In some parts, there are beaches. So, so far, they have told us that in our country, we have forests, we have deserts, and we have beaches. These are all different places in our country, what they really look like. What do you think the topic of this book is? What the places in our country look like. Our country is big and it doesn't look the same everywhere. So we have forests, deserts, beaches. Those are some of our key details. In others, there are marshes. A marsh is a place where when you step down, it's mushy muddy. There's a lot of water. In some parts, there are... Look at the picture. What in this picture starts with... It has to be a type of place. Some place that you can go and look at. Something real. What is he standing in? Water, right. But it's not a pond, it's not a lake. Those don't start with rrr. In some parts there are rivers. In others there are lakes. Oh, I was wrong earlier. This photograph is not an ocean. It doesn't start with O. Oh. It starts with ul. The word is lakes. It's a very big lake. In some parts, there are canyons. In others, there are prairies. 
A prairie is a long stretch of land that doesn't have a lot of trees. I don't see any trees. I just see fields and fields of grain. In some parts, there are snow-covered mm, mountains. Let's take care of our whole country. So in our country, we have forests, we have deserts, beaches, marshes, rivers, lakes, canyons. Wow. So it doesn't look the same everywhere. We have a big country. It looks different all over, with different landforms, and we should take care of all of them. Thank you for reading with me today. Can you remember the main topic and several key details from this book?